Hey, what's up, folks? Welcome to Life with Brock. And I'm just going to do a little hangout session here, some life customizing, and uh, we're going to talk about some of the figures and some of the things that I'm trying to help uh, beginners with, just sharing knowledge that uh, I've gained over the few years that I've been doing this. Hopefully, it's a benefit to you. And we're going to be talking about SDCC, the uh, Saturday reveals. Oh, my gosh. Craziness happening. Loved it. I'm looking forward to so many of those figures. Brockonomics is going to be hurting. So I'm going to wait until a few of you uh, jump up in here. I'm seeing there some of you are already arriving. We'll wait a couple minutes. Maybe they're enjoying the, uh, the SDCC talk as well on the boards, on Facebook, on some of the groups that you're joining in. We're going to talk about that Hawkeye in a little bit. Hey, what's up, Spider-Man, Momo2137, and Dow Her, Billy Zane. Thanks, man. Uh, when, I was thi when I was thinner, that's what they used to call me. What are your thoughts about the Aquaman trailer? It looked pretty darn good. Uh, that's one of the first times other than, um, what were the, the Dark Knight Batman movies I got excited for? The Justice League I wasn't that excited for. That the Aquaman actually looked pretty good. Pretty impressed with at least how the trailer looked. How's the video looking on your end, fellas and gals? I know there's a few of you that, that watch this stuff. All right, I'm stuffing my, my face with a cookie that my wife made. Mmm, delicious. All right, we've got nine up in here. We'll wait until we get, how about one more? And then we'll start talking. We'll start talking to some uh, custom action figures. Oh, we dropped one. What's up, Gil? Thanks, man, I appreciate that. The reason I do uh, the custom vids is uh, once I got a ha you know, handle on, on kit bashing, a little bit of paint, and I started getting some experience. I had always wished when I first started doing this that there were more people putting stuff on on YouTube because I learn by watching. There are some folks that, you know, they, they would put their stuff on and they would write about it. Like for example, Action Figure Toronto, probably one of the premier customizers in the game. He writes his stuff out. He's very clear, he's a good, you can tell he's a very well thought out good teacher and uh, I, I learned from what he's done I have I have trouble seeing the things in, in two dimensions when I see it in I guess in three dimensions when that's a video I, I don't, I'm not sure if that's even appropriate to say three dimensions but in video I'm much more visual that way and for whatever reason I, I feel like I learned that way and I think you all uh, can learn that way too I find that that's uh, the way that a lot, most people uh, tend uh, to learn best and since I am a teacher at heart that's why I like doing those type of videos and I enjoy interacting with everyone all right so I have a, a little bit of a lineup uh, one of the things uh, that I wanted to talk about first since that Marvel legend by the way Hasbro's killing it man killing it doing a great job it's a good time to be nerds like us collecting all of these uh, figures they're providing for us. But as you know, they recently released the uh, the cartoon or the uh, common accurate, comic accurate Doc Ock that did not have posable tentacles. And a lot of folks have been going to the, uh, the movie uh, versions like this that came out with, you know, the Spider-Man waves uh, quite a few years ago. I think 2000, in the 2000s, early... I can't remember if it was, I can't remember when the, the movie came out. But anyways, <coughs> <Joke. laughs> I'm choking. <coughs> Call 911. Oh, I'm good. Hold on. Piece of cookie went down the wrong pipe. All right. I think I'm <laughs> here live for everyone to hear. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Hope you guys had a chuckle at my expense. Hey, what's up, Paul? Yeah, Gil, uh, we're, we're going to talk about him in a second once I get through 
see if I can regain my thought after choking to death <clears throat> live on YouTube. But anyway, here you have these, um, uh, the, the pincers, I think that's what we're going to call them. Craig Warwick did it in, uh, when he modded his uh, Doc Octopus. He used these pincers, but I want to let you know. Uh, if you go a few videos back, you're going to see that I have a, a different Doc Ock figure. It looks very similar. However, this is the one that has the uh, the tentacles that actually will, you know, it has like a little play action. But they're, these guys are not posable. And since I bought them thinking that it was gonna that it was the exact same ones, they're not. However, these are the same ones, and I and I checked to 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 make sure. But I wanted to cut into this uh, here live for you guys to see, just to uh, just to verify that it's the exact same ones because these are the ones that I will be using once I'm once I've figured out the right tentacles uh, i have a, a one on order that i'm i'm waiting to to see what it looks like i just want to i, I want to make sure that you guys are aware that there's quite a few variations of this figure and this one does not have the posable tentacles it's got the the uh, grab action and uh, i'm going to take this guy apart and i'm thinking that i may be able to repurpose uh, this part of his arms and this jacket and maybe make a, a you know use one of the heads that I got with multiple man and make the ad an additional uh, multiple man with this figure and then Spider-Man uh, if you can link me to some of those heads I'd be interested I think I, I do have uh, a, a couple like like the for example there's a cap uh, if it can't the other cap that I'm working on it's from uh, Bowen's statue that they they shrunk if you saw my most recent video I actually put it out today I showed you how to uh, fix a broken neck peg so if you want to go and check that out. It's not completely perfect, but it does the job. And a matter of fact, I had to put a little bit of glue, uh, almost uh, just to bond the the two. Somebody actually asked the question in in the video, and I go, yeah, maybe it it would help just to mend those together so that this would be harder to strip in the event that one of the heads gets stuck. But uh, so I ended up breaking that neck peg, and apparently, pounds nine seven eight. You know the. Uh, um, he's a customizer. He's uh, his main uh, is like Spider Verse. He does a lot of Spider Verse figures. I mean, the guy's amazing. He does a great job. He told me that he had the same issue with that uh, neck peg, and so these may be a, a bit on the fragile side. So, anyways, mine snapped off, and uh, I show if you have that issue. You, that's I showed you a way that you can uh, put it back. But anyways. <clears throat> Part of my issue was that how I hot glued the head, I didn't twist it, I didn't put enough Vaseline on the peg. I talk about that in that video, so I don't wanna talk about it too much here. And this is a an Archangel that I had been uh, actually thinking about for a while. And I was waiting for this figure to, to go on sale. It's a Transformer figure. I uh, forget the name of uh, it's a one of the leader sized uh, dinosaurs. So I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a, an archangel, even though they're coming out with one. I'm gonna have to mod these figures. I ordered some stronger magnets than the one I already have, and it's gonna be my my take on archangel. I also wanted to use this mold instead of the Bucky cap. Uh, because I do prefer the posability, the options that, you know, the, you get more articulation points here with the butterfly joint than you do with the uh, Bucky Cap mold. So that was the genesis of that. Let me see what else I can talk about. Let's bring out Buff Cap. <laughs> this one I'm really looking forward to. I think I'm looking forward to this one more than the, the other cap that I'm working on. Let me bring this guy up and then let me take a quick look at the comments because I see him coming through. What's up, Demar Clinton? What's up, Mag9671? He says, video is clear. I enjoy your videos and customize. Keep up the great work. Thanks a lot, man. 
What's up, California Raisin? So as you can see, this is a figure that, uh, that uh, I'm just, it's been used before. This torso has been done before. And if you have the old Toy Biz saber tooth, you can tell that this is where I got the torso from. I've done some, uh, I sh oops, there you go, the arm fell off because I still haven't worked it on. I'm actually gonna ask for your help and maybe you guys, some of you guys that do customs can give me an idea of what I can do. I have a thought of what I wanna do internally to this arm because it's a little bit loose, but we're gonna talk about that in a second. So getting back to, to this torso, uh, guys, uh, you know, premier customizers like Loose Collector, have used this torso on Captain America, so it's definitely not unique. Uh, I didn't I didn't think about it on my own. However, I did think about mending the lower torsos together, and I showed that in, in one of my other videos. And I'm using, and I actually used, whose legs were these? Whose leg were these? I think these were Unworthy Thor's legs, as you can see. And what I did was I sculpted the boot cuff, and I may do a little bit more sculpting. I haven't decided if I want to make continue this uh, to turn because, as you can see, right there, it kind of breaks the sculpt a little bit, and uh, I may not want that. So I may actually do a little bit more uh, sculpting around the side, but I'm actually pretty happy with uh, how those boot cuffs uh, came out. And then moving on to the arms, you can notice that that this is new. These uh, glove, the gloves are are brand new to him. I sculpted it, and uh, I just kept what he had before. I'm kind of wishing I would have shaved down this part of the arm. As you can see, it's a little bit on the bulky end there. But I I, I was able to add a magnet. So that's going to be cool. Most, most of the time, he's, he's probably going to have that on him. He also has a magnet back here in the event that I want him to wear the shield back there, just like the other one. What's up to all the, the new people that are jumping in? Just talking about some of my customs and what I'm working on. Uh, so this was the first time that I used the Procreate. So it's that flexible, as you can see, it's... Uh, it bends right there. I don't know if you can see that on camera. But uh, I, I sculpted it uh, for the first time and I actually was, uh, I was happy with uh, working with it. I enjoyed it. The cure time is a lot faster than the epoxy sculpt. And that's what I turned out with. The, the, <laughs> it's unique. The, the gloves turned out unique. And I'm happy with how that part is looking so far. So I think I, I'm going to do a little bit more sculpting right here with the peg holes. I want to, I, I don't like how the peg holes look and obviously I need to do a little bit of sanding right here. I don't know why some of the other customizers don't like the, the top, top guys don't do it. They're, they probably have done it and they've felt that uh, they like the peg holes for whatever reason. I try to cover them up uh, because personally I like it better. Captain Cuba, Fig Life Miami, que hola chico. California Raisin asks, any tips of painting an Iron Man figure to look metallic? There's, there's many different ways that, uh, that you can achieve the metallic look. You can add, you can have any paint and obviously you can buy a meta metallic looking paint whether it be uh, Tamiya, Vallejo, all the, the big name brands will have the metallic looking paints, but you can also add a metallic medium to any regular paint. Uh, I would pull it out right now, but I think it, it'd take me too long to, uh, to find it. As you know, I'm on my workbench, AKA the kitchen table, and I only have the stuff here ready, you know, I only have the stuff here that uh, I plan to show you, and I wasn't planning on that, however, uh, you can also paint silver and then you can put a clear coat of paint. For example, if you wanted to do metallic blue, 
you pick whatever hue that you want, uh, but it's got to be a clear paint, and then you put silver, and then you put that blue over it after you, you know, obviously let it dry. That will create a metallic look for you. Thoughts of It Chapter 2? If you're talking about the movie... I'm not a fan of horror, so uh, I didn't watch the movie. It's on HBO right now, uh, but I will be passing because I want to go to sleep at night. I want to sleep sweet. Dead Grin Customs, what's crack a lacking? All right, folks. So 18 of you in here, you may give me a, a, an idea of what I want to do. Now, it, when I press the torso, obviously I have it cracked, and uh, this arm works nice. There's there's enough friction in between there to make it work. This arm, even if I, it's a little loose, I can get by, but I would like to tighten it internally. So let me open this up so you can see the inside of this figure and you can go a couple of videos back. Actually, when I showed the cracking of the figure, so let me cast this aside. And then you can get a good look inside uh, the, the figure. All right. So as this sits on here, this one sits, it feels like it, it makes a better connection than when I put this guy in here. There's just something missing about this guy. And I'm, thinking, I'm trying to see why that's the, the case. Let me see if I can try to get a, some, some light going in the right direction so you guys can see what my dilemma is a small dilemma i want i want this to have more friction this i've had to shave uh just for for paint rub issues and it was loose on the figure so as you can see this one's nice and tight this one's nice and tight as well the figure that i chose to use already had a loose arm so what I'm thinking about doing is just putting some hot glue in this cavity. I've done it in the past. That way that it, you know, it'll give me something to grab onto there, giving it some friction. Do you guys have any ideas of how, what's another method that I could do to give, to make this a little bit tighter? I'm trying to see if there's any difference between the two here. Let me see what you guys said. Ponsa says, using the silver base and clear colored paint gives a vac metal look. What's up, Jetta Patrol? Hey, this isn't Pops, bro. <laughs> so I know this is not quite up your alley. Thanks for joining. Teflon plum plumber's tape and wrap this peg. I see right this part right here hmm that's not a bad idea that would that would make it that would give it more more friction here yeah okay that's a thought i don't have any accessible to me right now but I, I will try that that's not a bad idea because that means when this closes on when this closes over over the arm, it'll be, I just gotta be careful not to make it too wide that it won't let the torso close because obviously I want the torso to be able to do that. But yeah, that's a good idea, man. Thank you. What's up, Brian? And Annie Skywalker says, Professor X has officially been announced by Hasbro. It did, man, that, that it looks good. I uh, hope that the paint the sculpt looks really good. Uh, I still like action figure Toronto's better, but of course he's a master customizer and designer. He used 3D printing and he developed the, the hover chair how he wanted to do it. And I always appreciate the, uh, the custom products a lot better. But yeah, that, it looks awesome. There's so many, so many cool new figures. It's a good time to be a Marvel Legend collector and it's not going to be good for a pocketbook. Hey, at least there's still $20 a figure and they're not hot toy money. Nail polish, uh, that's, that's another thought right there to thicken that part up. Or even, you know, I could even use some glue just as long as I'm able to move this around so it doesn't get stuck 
on the disc hinge or the yeah the disc there and that would definitely thicken that up I, I suppose I could put some epoxy there too but it's just it's gonna have to be a very thin layer of epoxy a rubber grommet a rubber grommet is it like a uh, um, like an O-valve is that what you're talking about because I know I've heard the word grommet before but uh, I'm not very good uh, I'm not a I'm not a handyman so I, I don't know yeah Urivana that's that's what it is uh, it actually makes it look like I I did a, a lot of effort but it was just the angle of the spray paint a Cenethal priming is black gray and then white on top you paint the figure black let it dry and then you spray over the figure at different angles with the gray and then you keep a much tighter angle when you come over with the white and what that does is it provides the natural obviously if you know the light was shining from above it provides the national shade the natural shading and highlights on the figure and it gives you it's helped me because i'm not I'm not a uh, a naturally gifted artist or anything like that. I've just seen how other people do it and I've tried to teach myself. But it does give me an idea of what I need to do to where I need to put the uh, the, the darker paints and then the, the highlights. So it's very helpful. This was also sculpted the star. I, I used also uh, the Procreate Putty. It's softer. I laid a, I probably should have laid a thinner layer down and then I put a star, uh, I think it, it's kind of like a glitter star, and then I cut it out. And if I should have gone a little bit lighter, meaning not as thick on the, uh, the Procreate putty, because it, it was actually pretty tough to cut. But that's probably also how I mixed it. I probably should have given it a greater mixture to, to make it softer. But that's how I got that, because I can't cut straight. That one's not so great. But it's getting the job done. Let me see what you guys are saying. Am I excited for Shazam? Yeah, it looks... That, that's another one. I, I like the trailer. I like the fact that they're going to keep it light because Shazam is a... He's not a dark character at all. So from what from what the, uh, the trailer showed, it seems like it's going to be a very... You know, it's going to be the uh, the PG version of Deadpool in the DC universe. Let me see. Paul says, grommets that are, oh, okay, that they're scored around the outside. Are grommets, uh, is it going to be metal? Like you use to insulate electrical wire. They have all sizes at Home Depot. I was just there. Yeah, go watch the trailer, guys. It's it's going to be a good one. All right, so I have some ideas of what I want to use with a cap, good old cap there. Let me let me move this aside and let's talk about another custom figure that I'm working on that they also announced that it's coming out. Where is it? So I ended up picking up this. They're made out of rubber. That's good. The grommets. Yeah, so that may work too. All right, so I picked up this Hawkeye. I, I do like the uh, Toy Biz Hawkeye, but it's definitely it needs a, an update. I don't like the the ball jointed hips. These uh, these will fail over time, especially the uh, the inner part where it's where it's connected, and it's hard to to get and tighten those joints. So I definitely prefer the new way that they've been doing the hips. I forget what this is called, T joint. I, I'm not sure. I don't know the vernacular for that. But I tried to find myself a, a real cheap Hawkeye, and I did. And the uh, the requirement was that it came with this. I needed the Ant-Man arrow. I don't know if you guys know that this exists. <laughs> I, I just love it because I want to be able to recreate that, uh, that cover where Hawkeye is shooting Ant-Man uh, from from his arrow 
the figure came with this bow. Let me bring it out. The string needs uh, some tightening, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna be using this one because what I did have in my fodder bin, can you tell where these, this is from? This is from the old Hawkeye figure that I used the arm for a, believe it or not, winter soldier custom. I think this may be his other arm that I have here just holding place. But I do have uh, this this uh, arrow. I still have the old head with uh, the derpy eye right there that it was uh, that it was known for having, and a lot of people had to repaint. And I still have his bodysuit. So what I'm thinking about doing, I'm going to use this one. I don't want to use this part, but I haven't really thought it through that much. Let me get this on him. So that would definitely work, but I, I want him to be able to have this articulation, right? So what I'm thinking is I'm probably gonna cut it here and this does look good and it's you know it's his armor so that would work and then I would sculpt everything else down to his belt so these I would go with uh, just to help it get that articulation because he needs to be uh, very posable and this prevented the old figure from from posing just like they're coming out right now they're putting it out in that classic line uh, the, it's a lighter color like the uh, the comic, so that looks good, but it's still on the same body. So what I'm looking to do, what I'm probably going to do, I'm going to move these boots over to here. It looks like it's a, that, that it should work. That shouldn't be an issue. And everything else I'm, I'm probably going to sculpt. I don't know what I'm going to do about the sash. So I'm A, either going to cut it and... Or maybe maybe I'll cut it here and use this belt and keep the sash if it's not too too much of a big deal. Or I'm gonna give it a soft goods, but I, I really have to think. What do you guys think? You think it's worth should I just cut it and use the lower part as the belt? Because that really wouldn't hinder the articulation and it would get the desired effect. The only part that I need to get around is these two straps. Actually, these four, the, the, the two in the back as well. Let's see what you guys think. Okay, uh, cool, Paul. I'll, uh, I mean, hope, hopefully I'll remember doing that. What's up, Silver for Golf? And then this head should work on on this body it's about the they're about the the same size maybe a, a little bit on this eh, i think it'll work and if not i'll use the the other one and are there any other customs yeah i got a lot of other customs in the planning stages and uh oh here's something i have one more thing to show you guys and then we can get down to doing some some customizing here or some some kid bashing and then talk SDCC what you guys are looking forward to getting the most let's see what you guys got going on here yeah that Ant-Man arrow uh, fig life Miami that uh, it it's it's pretty sweet looking Spider-Man says Gambit and Kingpin have also been announced by Hasbro as well Absolutely, uh, looks great. Get those cloth goods off the old gambits now because that those robes should work. I'm that's another figure that I'm working on. I want it. I want to do it on this type of uh, figure because again, gambit is another one that I feel should have that butterfly articulation. And uh, we'll see how that goes because it doesn't look like the figure that they, I think it's the Bucky Cat body that they used. 
Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. He's not wanting to stand now. Come on, player. We're live on live on YouTube. You're not cooperating. Come on, girl. There we go. Circumcise it. <laughs> All right. So the reason I had this out. By the way, if you need the upper torso of Mojo, maybe we can work out a, a trade because this is literally brand new out of the package. It's got good, good torso articulation. I was thinking about using it for this. Stand by, let me pull this out. And uh, I'm gonna do a full product review of this later, but I'm very, just to say I'm very happy with it. It's going to be the, um, come on, it's get, having tough. It's going to be the car, uh, the uh, comic accurate vulture. Got the wings here. I got the set from Jimmy Allison. I'm forgetting his name on Instagram. Maybe it's Slim Jim Customs. I think that's what it is. When I do the uh, product review, I'll make sure I give him a, an appropriate shout out. I think that's what it is, but... In the event that I'm wrong, I'll be talking about it at another time. Let me put this away so I don't lose it. So I was gonna use this torso for, for Vulture, but I think it's gonna be a little bit too big. I, I don't want them to be that large. I want them to be at least the size of the Pizza Spider uh, body. I may just end up using a, a Pizza Spidey body or modifying this guy somewhat once I use, you know, I use all the parts I want from him. I don't, I don't think I want the, the shoulders, so I probably want to change the arms out. But I do like the fact that these swivel because if you remember the old vulture had a, it has a piece of the wing right here that, that turns and I want to have that feature. So some more things to think about. And that's about it for now, as far as all the stuff that I'm working on. So let's get into this guy. Let me make sure I have, I still have you guys here. What's up, Jose? The original Toy Hunter. Urivana says, Spawn Sauce, Greg Sarab and Made in Os Oh yeah, his, yeah, man. Talk about another uh, outstanding customizer. He's been kind of quiet. So he hasn't posted as frequently. He was working on something. He's not working in the Marvel Universe. He's, he was working on some night stuff, the most recent things that I saw on his uh, Instagram page. But yeah, his Gambit is awesome. He made uh, you know cloth goods, you know the pants. Very, very nice job. Spider-Man, I think the Kingpin is a comic-based, but, but I want to be able to actually see the... Uh, the actual figure, not just the picture of it. I want to see a video of it, and I think they were going to show it a little bit later on today. So I'm sure somebody's filmed it by now. What's up, Leo 3 Fro? He says, uh, would you like to use the Omega Red body mold for Venom custom figure? You know what I would like to use the Omega uh, body mold for? The Sabertooth. Why did they not use the Sabertooth? Uh, that would have been perfect because he would have had the butterfly joints. Oh my gosh, that would have been great. I think, I think the folks, uh, you know, maybe even a Captain America, a larger Captain America, they'll use it. They'll use that uh, mold as well because I love the butterfly joints. Let me see. Uh, Spider Man says I'll be sure to give you the link of the Hot Toy Shrimp. Yeah, ap yeah, please do. I think the ones that I've seen have been movie versions, and I kind of steer away from the movie. Not not that I don't own any of those, but there's something I don't know. For me, in my uh, taste, I prefer the comic look than the movie look. Even though when I bought the new uh, the, this version, the one that has the posable tentacles, the reason I'm I'm getting a couple other ones is because I'm gonna I'm gonna keep that one. The figure is pretty sweet. That figure. Can all that that figure needs is uh, waist articulation and ankle pivot, and it would have been a dynamite figure. Uh, otherwise, um, 
it's just about a seven, but it, it, it's good enough to keep in my collection. All right, so what I wanna do is, I, I wanna see if I can break this guy apart. I've never broken apart a, a figure from the movie line, uh, so I have no idea what I'm gonna get into here, but I feel like I'll be able to use some of these parts later on. So let's, let's give this some heat. I'm gonna go off camera for a second to do this. a little bit more heat, a little bit more heat. See, I don't want to break the peg. Almost there. Oh, it's tearing the peg. Yeah, toward the peg. See how that tore in there? Not a big deal because I'm gonna cannibalize this figure anyway, and it's mainly for these. Peace out, Abel. Master Bat says he did his first mod on the new Martian Manhunter for the multiverse. Yeah, I saw that figure. Uh, it looked kind of cool, but damn man, those multiverse figures, they, they just haven't caught up in um, to the Marvel Legends yet. What are you guys looking forward to from the SDCC reveals, from what you guys saw? That one popped it off right there. That's probably what I should have done with this one. Just trying to get into this. <laughs> a new Deadpool on a moped. Uh, that's classic. Yeah, that's two for the uh, the Deadpool on the Vespa. So let's see if there's a way that I can detach this. Because there's a mechanism there, you see? And I'm wondering if I should just crack that. Because it doesn't look like it's gonna come off with glue. Hmm, interesting. Maybe I should work on this too. Okay. You guys saw that, right? That's just that one though. I don't think these are gonna be like that. Uh-uh. No way, and I gotta be careful not to break these off because this is the reason I bought the figure. What's up, D-Bear? Lobo Penguin from DC. Am I gonna California Raisin' Ass? Am I gonna miss the Hugh Jackman from, or Hugh Jackman as Wolverine? I don't think so. I do not think so. I thought he did a great job, but, and it was good for the, the time. Now I want a five foot three Wolverine. <laughs> or somebody like, who, who's the guy that's playing Venom? Like, I thought he would, that guy would have been a good Wolverine for whatever reason. You know, he can blow up a little bit, get on the good stuff for, for a few months, like he did for, Vain, for when he played Bane. Killmonger, what's the, 
What's the fi- what are the figures that you're looking forward to the most from SDCC? Yeah, Tom Hardy, that's, that's the guy. So I think, instead of just uh, cracking him open, do I wanna crack him open? It doesn't look like it'd be too difficult to do. You never know though. All right, let me get a, where's my drill? My drill bit. bad boys out. Yeah, I did say I was going to crack this thing open, didn't I? Take off that whole back piece. Yeah, right here, right? It looks like it's cracking right here. That's where I'm going to drill into. This figure is definitely not worth getting. The other one, if you're into the, you know, if you like Spider-Man and you like the movie, that one is is much better because the tentacles are posable. And the figure itself, well, it was brand new. This is uh, this was in somebody's garage for a really long time. Oh my goggles. Here we go. Yeah, that trench coat, what I was talking about, what I was uh, talking about doing California Raisin is maybe using it, and I have a, I have actually quite a few of these in my fodder bin, uh, making a, a multiple man, but I got so many customs I'm working on. Uh, that was my thought, use this for multi -man, uh, multiple man, because these arms I could use, and I would just have to do a little bit of sculpting to match on the shoulders, and I'd be good to go for, for a new one. All right, let's crack this. Where did mine? Put my big gun in here. See that, guys? That's a sweet sound. Cracking a torso. I did this the other day. Did a video where I cracked a couple. The near Marvel Legends. This one's not going to be as sweet. And I really don't care about jacking up the sculpt, so I'm not being careful at all. You hear that sound? That's a good sound. That's coming apart. So let's see what this figure looks like inside. It's like cracking a lobster. So I may be able to repurpose those legs for a different project. I don't like these. Uh... Oh, you know what I can use this for? You see that, guys? This could be used for a shoulder, not for a leg, but like I showed you over here. Sometimes you got to think outside the box, but you see, I could, I could probably mod that if I wanted to. <laughs> that little piece right there, so I'm going to keep that. And because I don't have that much space here in my house, I do have like a like a three, um, like a little plastic, I'm, I'm showing you a little bit taller than the, the camera holds, but that's where I keep all my parts. I would love to be able to separate, you know, legs, hands, et cetera, all these different torsos that I've, that I've worked on. Okay, let's take a look at the inside of this, interesting. And it looks like that's gonna be attached by these strings because this is the mechanism that they had. It was that, that action. And then these, uh, these would move when you would press down on the lever. But I'm not able to completely separate this because you see the 
the string there. Let's cut that out. One down. You guys are going some of you guys are going to look in here and you're going to say, "Oh, I can make that." <laughs> I can make toys for a living. All right. Separated. So that's what that looks like in there. So this lever would you'd pull down and this would this would pull the the string. So the there's strings in in these tentacles. And here you can see, I don't know if you guys saw that, but it just came out of that. Like the alien, like an alien. And you can see the end of the tentacles are glued right there. I think that's glue. Let me throw some heat, some quick heat, and see if this will come off. And that way I can just pull these out that way. I thought they did a pretty good job on the neck, how they were doing, how they did the the necks on these guys. Some of them are uh, like Toy Biz. They they did this a little bit better. And the engineering, even on some of these old figures, they were so advanced. I wonder what would have happened if Toy Biz would have continued with their license and they wouldn't have gone under. Very interesting. Who could this be used for? I guess I can cut that ear if I if I if you didn't know how to sculpt you can cut this ear out and use it on another figure. Like I didn't I was trying to figure out how to sculpt the ear. I may just slice that off and put it on this guy because my my ear sculpts were terrible and those ears would work. So I may actually end up doing that for my that uh, angry Bizarro head. Let's see if you guys have any questions. I'll answer and then we'll get moving on. Leo Three Fro says DC line looks better. Focus on movie characters. They add some body modifications. It seems great improvement. Venom Fang, what's going on, man? Haven't I haven't really seen you on the boards commenting? Have you been MIA a little bit from Facebook? D Bear says Mattel did very well with DC, WWE, and Jurassic Park. <laughs> Paul, you're old like me then. He says his knees, uh, the cracking of the torso is probably what he was referring to. Sound like that when he gets off the couch. Replace them with wires. Interesting. That's, that's probably all that it was. The other ones had wire inside here. You know what? Let's try that. I'm curious. I have, I have a little bit extra wire that would fit in there. Let me heat this up and see if they come out. If not, I'll just I'll just cut them out right there. Let's see if this gets the glue off. Did you guys see the SDCC reveals or was it just me? And well, it, they sh they should have put uh, wires on the uh, on the new ones, and it w we wouldn't have had to make the mods. Some of us, I think, would have probably made the mod anyway. You know what, guys? This is not coming off. I'm just gonna cut it out. And actually, I don't want to use this one. Let me use the duller one. Which one did I heat up? It was this one. Here, so you guys don't miss out me cutting my finger off.
it probably would have just been better, guys, just to, for me to... Why I don't know why I'm being so careful with this thing. <laughs> Dumb I am. They do cut a little bit easier when, when you heat up the plastic, so this side is not as easy to cut as the other side. Okay. And now I've removed the jacket. That could be a, actually a pretty easy cover job. That shouldn't be a problem with some uh, Procreate putty. And this right here, guys, is trash. So now I'm feeling these out, though. They, they don't feel like the, uh, the other ones. I'm not sure. I think they may have used a different uh, type of rubber material. But let's see. So this string is probably going to be connected right here. Right here. So I'm going to cut. I'm not going to mess around anymore with this. I was going to stick some, some wire. And the reason I'm doing this in particular is because I know some of you are, are buying these to do the, your mod as well. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut high. And the string's probably right there. You see that? And it's, just, it's a tough string. And there's wire. And there's wire, but this is not really, let me see, is it flexible wire? Well, it sure is. It's a little bit, it feels like like 26 gauge, a little bit, maybe a little bit stronger, but it has wire in there. And it also has this rope. I'm really hoping it has like the little nub at the end because that's what I'm gonna use to hook it up to the next piece. Are there going to be any more reveals than what we saw today? What's up, Kairos? D-Bear says, I've uh, decided to test the waters with customizing recently, so I started dry brushing some random figures, and I have to say it's pretty fun. That was the first thing I did, believe it or not. That's exactly what I did. Hold on a second. Let me focus here real quick. It was on uh, the boomerang figure. I took some uh, some gray or silver and I weathered it by painting it, by dry brushing, I should say.
Well, it looks like this isn't going to be quite the same as what I saw, uh, what, Greg, what Craig Work showed on his. But maybe I have to go back and, and recheck because this is definitely the pincer I want to use. It's large and menacing enough. Just do a little bit of a repaint on this and we'll be good to go. I just got to cut off that other rubber piece right here. Yeah, this wire is thin, but it's not as pliable as the one I got at uh, Joann's that I used for the, the capes. And maybe it's, I don't know, the, I'm not sure what strength this is. It, it looks like it's small, like 26 gauge. But I can't say for sure. And I'm trying to be careful not to cut that plastic piece. Because I want to preserve that. This one's much sharper. Let's cut it off. There we go. And this piece does not want to come off. I wonder what that's tied into. I bet you it's this little piece right here. I don't know if you can see it. I bet you that's what that is. But I don't want to take it off just yet. They aren't attached at the base between the claws. They aren't attached at the base which part are you referring to? At the base, between the claws. What's what's not attached? Am I? Oh. D Bear says uh, I've done several dioramas and decided to do light blue dry brushing. Nice, on the uh, on the new bullseye. Clone Wars. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That's, I I really like that cartoon. Now. If you give me just one second, I'm going to go stare at the, the other one I have to see if that piece is on the other one. If it's not, I'm going to take it out. This, that's probably where it's probably around something and it's grabbing in here because this is what was making the, uh, the action when you press down on the lever. Give me 15 seconds. All right, I just brought the other Dr. Octopus. I thought it'd be easier. So check, check that out. So it's the same. But this is a really cool figure. <laughs> I will not be cutting those off. I'm keeping this figure. I'm gonna display them with uh, my movie, Spider-Man. Figure, so he's gonna he's gonna stand on red right, right there. So what I'm just gonna do, I'm just gonna cut this wire off. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. All right, let's cut let's cut into the other one. This one's probably gonna be more of the same. Even, see, even though that wire is there, let's see, this wire is not strong enough to, to keep this posed. 
Whereas this guy, see that? So it must be using, it must be using a much stronger wire in there because this material feels, feels the same. That's probably what it is. It has a, a much stronger, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to, for you guys to see it, but the hole goes all the way through. You'll have to trust me on it. Yeah, Toy Biz did do a good job with the tentacles. You know, they had their, their, their strengths and weaknesses as well. But they definitely set the bar. And you know, with change, when, when, when the licenses changed over, nobody, people typically don't like change. Uh, but based on what I saw at this year's uh, SDCC, and that's coming on the heels of showing and releasing probably the best Marvel Legend figure of all time, The Thing. Can't wait to get that. And having strong showings with Dr. Octopus, the Silver Surfer looks pretty nice too. They're going in the right direction, and those people really care. They really care about the product that they're putting out, but they're also businessmen. You know, they're, they, they have their guidelines that they have to go by. Can't fault them for that. New Hercules. I've tried to get into the comic books, the Hercules uh, comics, but I haven't read read one uh, that I thought was good. Was he in Dark Avengers? Because I haven't read any of those for you comic book geeks. What's my favorite comic book movie? Let's throw that out to the chat too. Hmm. Favorite comic book movie. Well, I remember being excited when the Spider-Man came out and Spider-Man's one of my favorite. Are you talking about like cartoon, like cartoony movies? I always find questions like that very difficult to answer because I like, I like everything just about nerd related. I'm gonna clear that up. Ooh, been going over an hour already. Live action, uh, I really like the uh, Captain America movies. Those have been my, my favorite. I think Disney's done a really good job with those. This last one was amazing. Before that, I liked Captain America, First Avenger, The Winter Soldier was really good. I think that's lauded as the Winter Soldier movie is, I think it's a on a lot of people's top two, top three movies. 
I'm having trouble getting this off. I guess I don't have to completely clean it up right now, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave well enough alone right there. All right, so I bought that figure <laughs> for these two claws. Pretty ridiculous. I spent like, spend like 11 bucks on that figure. I wish I was able to find it in a swap meet. I actually had seen it in a swap meet before this Doc Ock came out, or else I would have jumped all over it. I don't know if, I don't know how much the guy would have sold it to me as, to me for, but now, what, am I gonna keep this? I'm probably gonna keep this because you never know what I could use this for a belt on somebody. I don't know, that look kind of weird. But I, you never know what I'm gonna, uh, what I could use those for. And I can probably, I should probably take this claw off too. But I'll, I'll do that off of camera. I wanna bore you guys with it. What's up, A.S. Reyes? The Rocketeer was, was a pretty cool uh, movie. I'm in Pacific Standard Time. I really don't know what time it is right now. I've already gone over an hour. I better, uh, I appreciate all you guys that are still in here, 19 of you. Do you guys have any custom questions or do you want to talk about SDCC reveals? I thought you guys would be more into talking about the SDCC reveals. Yeah, Magic, I, I don't have to custom her now. I'll just, I'll take that figure. She looks uh, good and it looks like they've improved on the sculpt. I think they said that they added um, something to her pants to make it look more accurate. So I'm happy about that. Uh, because she, there's some, there's something about her look that I like, and uh, she was on my to-do list. But I will be taking her off my to-do list because they're coming out with it. And uh, if anything, you know, if they cheap out on paint or whatever, I can always um, do a repaint. So there's Doc Ock, and you guys gave me a good idea of how to tighten the arms. We'll see what I end up doing. If it's worth filming, I'll uh, I'll film. I'll film it. This is gonna get trashed. I think I'll probably just keep the uh, the neck peg. Hmm. Maybe I'll keep the this torso. You never know. Never know. Movie version Domino. I'm sure they're gonna come out with Grandmaster Popo. What's up? My favorite news from SDCC, let me see if I can remember it all. If you guys can start putting it down and maybe jog my memory, but definitely the, the hover chair for Professor X, that was pretty, uh, uh, looked pretty darn nice. The Kingpin uh, Build-A-Figure looks like it's gonna be pretty pretty uh, good. And I'm actually glad that, that, uh, that I got tipped off on that because yesterday, I had, I think it was Jason, um, now I'm gonna mispronounce it, Clint, oh shoot, Jason. Jason, if you watch this, Clan, clandestine, I wanna say clandestine, but I don't think that's what it is. But he, he customizes on, um, he puts a lot of his stuff on Facebook. He had just repainted the old uh, Toy Biz Kingpin. And I was like, man, I'm customizing a Daredevil, I just bought Electra. I, I need a kingpin, and that's a pretty cool figure that I don't have in my collection, and I go, I'm gonna go and get it. So I started doing a little bit of research, see if I can find it for cheap. And uh, they were selling like for $30, and that's been the going rate for those on eBay. And the ones that they had on eBay were just crazy out of price, just way, way, it was priced wrong for what they've been selling for. So I contacted quite a few of the sellers, and I, and I contacted them and I said, hey, would you consider dropping the price? Obviously, that's their prerogative. I'm not going to cry to my mama if they didn't, which they didn't. But I showed them uh, the list and one, one of the guys says, nope, that's what I'm going to sell them for. And uh, the other guy's like, well, um, uh, the other, there's only another one listed and it's for like $59 and mine's, you know, whatever. Mine's in better condition. And I said, okay, fine, fine player. 
Well, guess what? They missed out. They missed out on uh, selling it for $30 because if you pay $30 for that build a figure right or that build a figure for that figure right now as cool as it is, you will be overpaying because the Hasbro build a figure looked pretty good. It's gotten a pretty good um reception and uh those those figures are not going to sell. They're, matter of fact, people are are putting up those figures now, and they're already at the third. Now they're the thirty dollar range. Uh, so I, as soon as I see the figure and I see the size of it and I get a good look at it, if I think that the Toy Biz figure uh, stands, and I'm not super crazy about that build a figure, I will go and buy one of those for like ten bucks. <laughs> I'll buy one for ten bucks shipped. Uh, 15 bucks shipped. I think that's probably the maximum I would pay for that, depending on how that build a figure looks. Because I think the figures that are coming in that build a figure, I'm not going to want. And then to get that build a figure, I'm either going to have to buy the wave or I'm going to have to buy the build a figure. And you know how they price those build a figures when they're brand new. So I may go the Toy Biz route, depending on what I see. Interesting. This has pivot, and I thought this one didn't. This one doesn't. Check this out. Maybe it's just stuck. But maybe this is just stuck right here. How about that? How about that? So even this leg is different. Huh. I'm going to have to pop that out and see for another time. What else was revealed at SDCC that looked pretty good? I'm kind of blanking out right now, and I was really excited. The magic, obviously. I've kind of slowed down on my Black Series. Paul's saying uh, all the Black Series. They're, they're reissuing uh, the Bounty Hunters. And um, of course, it's late and I'm a little bit tired, so my brain's not up to it. I'm forgetting that, you know, the guy in the yellow, uh, what is his name for crying out loud? The, the figure was going for like astronomical prices. I may get that one when that comes out. The ten-year Marvel packs, not I'm not excited for those. Uh, I'm not a big movie collector. I don't have that many movie uh, figures, so I'm probably going to pass on those, which is good because I, my wallet needs to break. Master Bad says, "How do you make a weapon look weathered? You can get a little bit of a silver on it. You know, anything lighter. If the weapon is." Uh, if if it's super light, then you go dark. You use and then you just do a little bit of dry brush. You put a little bit of paint on your on your brush. You wipe it off on a piece of paper, and then you just feather like this. You would like if it was if this was the weapon that you were holding on to. Tip it dry, dry your brush like this on on the paper. You're like almost wiping it all off, and then you just lightly feather like this, and you just hit the high points. Or when, or when you're thinking about the weapon, where do you think the weapon is going to be doing, you know, the, where's the sword clashing the most? That's the area that you want to pay attention to and then just highlight it a little bit with silver. And that should help you out. Bosk, that's it. Thanks. Hawkeye Vision. Uh, I'll probably be passing on those. A.S. Reyes. Hercules uh, look good uh, again, but I'm not a huge fan of. I mean, I, I'm a fan of the mythological Hercules, who isn't? But I'm not a fan of the comic book. I need to read a good comic book so I can get attached to the character. Uh, so far, I'm not attached to Hercules. However, if the figure is good, it's it's coming my way. Leo uh, asked, what happened with my Superman custom? Uh, it's it's there. <laughs> Superman and Bizarro. I think what's happening is, uh, I, 
I've been developing my kit bashing skills. I really have. And I've been enjoying doing that. I'm just, I think I'm afraid to paint. I'm afraid to paint. So uh, that's what I've been doing. I kit bash them, get them to where I want them, and uh, get them ready for paint. And then uh, hopefully I'll be painting some sort of figure here pretty soon. Yeah, Grandmaster Popo says, people try to sell Toy Biz figures for crazy amounts, just uh, end up uh, being screwed over whenever Hasbro releases updates. For example, I know this one isn't a, a, a Hasbro release, uh, excuse me, a Toy Biz release, but the Archangel, you're going to see uh, those drop in price. Yeah, Gambit, uh, I'm sure I, I've seen a, quite a few go on sale. I just bought one because I, I'm planning on customizing one and I wanted that jacket. And I got the uh, the base that has the hand. Yeah. Good night, Spider-Man. No, no need for custom gambits now except for that jacket. You'll want that jacket. All right, I think I'm gonna end it with this. Let me make sure no more questions at the end. Uh, Professor X looks awesome, Master Bat. Yeah, it's, it, it's I have one of a few, I have like, 40 different customs going or thought of that and planned. It's, it's ridiculous. All right. Thanks for hanging out, guys. And we'll catch you on the next one. This is becoming my thing now. Peace.